AI is currently at a point where uh, you know computer science was 30 years back. Artificial intelligence is a very transformative technology, right? And it is going to be the defining technological development of this generation and perhaps another generation to come. We have now set up this Vadwani School of Data Science and AI, which allows us to synergize all the different AI and data science activities and also to launch uh, these uh, various uh, degree programs. We'll be starting off the bat with 15 full-time faculty members, which will make us by far the largest AI department of any IIT out of 23 IITs in India. So the idea is to make IITM a national and a global leader in this field. The first, the flagship program is going to be this undergraduate program, a B.Tech program in AI and data analytics. There is a lot of interest among the students and there are takers in the industry. And an undergraduate program was uh, very timely in our opinion, collective opinion. There is room, uh, there are enough job profiles out there that would require people with this kind of training uh, off the bat. We are uh, making sure that the students know enough about the fundamentals of AI and they are really grounded in that so that they can pick up things on their own if they want to get into a research career and uh, we prepare them for that as well. The first question that we asked is, what is it that we want to impart to the students? So when, as, when they come in and when they graduate, what is the transformation that they should undergo? I say that we used a backpropagation algorithm and now let's shape the curriculum. You can divide that into three or four parts. You can say one is foundation, math slash science foundations, and of course the statistics foundation. And then you want them to slowly be aware of all the modeling paradigms. So you look at the convolution neural network, or you look at the deep net. Thirdly, how do you train these models on the data? And the algorithms essentially for learning. And then the final part, which puts everything together, is to integrate what they have learned with a domain. And that is both in the form of courses and a project. There is so much room. To give you an idea, there's 40% of the credits are electives. So if you look at it, that's how the curriculum is shaped. In terms of the knowledge and outcomes, starting with foundations, then models and learning algorithms, deployment, and then finally application. In fact, we are making sure that the students will look at uh, the application aspect pretty seriously. You know, they have to take uh, uh, courses from one of two core baskets. Right? So one basket is all about you know, the more traditional applications like language and vision and so on and so forth. And the other basket is on uh, things like time series modeling and other kinds of uh, more systems oriented like, like manufacturing systems or process control oriented applications of data science and AI. And there's also a course on uh, you know, introducing the principles of responsible design in AI uh, in the final year. The program that we have developed is designed from ground up to focus both on the fundamentals of AI and how would you build applications, a system-oriented design of AI as well. Since we are looking at the entire pipeline of AI design, I think this makes the program fairly unique. Our interface with the industry is very, very strong. So in terms of internship opportunities, in terms of the UG research opportunities and so on, I think the uh, students here have much brighter chances of getting a practical experience. The jobs that we are looking at is uh, spread over all the way from fundamental research in, in labs like Google, uh, Microsoft, uh, Amazon and so on, all the way to applied sector, to manufacturing, uh, healthcare, uh, etc. AI is currently at a point where, uh, you know, computer science was 30 years back. And, you know, at this point, being part of this course, right, and getting uh, trained in building AI systems from scratch will allow you to not just participate in this revolution of AI that's going to come, but also drive it and lead it. Beyond that, we would say it is their creativity, it is their innovation, and we are giving them the ecosystem and the training. Everything is here for them to learn and explore and uh, really go out in a, in a very smart way.